How often are you considering the neuromuscular implications of your treatment strategies in the clinic? Let's take a look at what happens to force output on a handheld dynamometer when we foam roll rectus fem just 10 times. So, ready, push, 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 hard, 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 hard. Good. So we start off with 35.7 foot pounds of pressure. So our subject is going to foam roll her quads or her rectus fem 10 times and we're gonna see what happens to force output. Now, the important thing here to, is to understand what is going to cause the change here on a neuromuscular level. So PT school might have taught you neuromuscular physiology, but it didn't teach you how to apply it in the clinic, which is why a lot of what physical therapists do is actually detrimental to their patients. So let's see what happens to force output here. Ready, push, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so we go down to 27 foot pounds after 10 reps on the foam roller. So why does that happen? Make sure you're in our masterclass next week because I'm gonna break down everything that we just did here and how this is the same effect that you get from stretching, massage, and Theragun.